In this video, I will show you how to use your TI-83, TI-84 graphing calculator to compute a confidence interval using the Z procedure. So do you see that there is a formula on the right? And I call this a Z procedure because of those letter Z. And you use this Z procedure when the population standard deviation sigma is given. So if you don't know sigma, then you have to use a T procedure. Then that will be another lesson. All right. So when you use a Z procedure, you have to go to stat. So you hit the stat key and then you go to test. So the test is all the way to the right. And then you select Z interval, not Z test, Z interval. So can you do that now? You click the stat key and then you go to test all the way to the right. And then you select Z interval. So once you go into the Z interval, there are two options. The input is either a data or a stat. So if you want to select the data option, that means the problem, they must give you a set of data. So that is the case where you select the data option. What about the stats? If you select the stats option, so the problem will give you a sigma, a x bar, and an n. All right, so uh, how come I have uh, two different sets of screenshot, the one in the middle, so that is for the older TI graphing calculator. So for the newer TI graphing calculator, you have a different you have a different look and then you have a different value, but I don't see there is a big difference between the old one and the new one. Again, the one thing that I really need you to memorize is when do you use Z? You use Z, you, you select the Z interval in the in the second on in on, on, on the bottom row. So do you see that there is a T interval right below the Z interval? That is a T, right? So when do you use T? You use T when sigma is unknown. You have to read the problem. The problem will either give you sigma or the problem will just say sigma is unknown. You do not know sigma, you use T. If you have sigma, then you use Z. All right. So I didn't use my I didn't put my calculator up in this video because in the next video I will do an actual example. So I will show you how to do everything in your calculator in the next video. So what the uh result gives you is uh, they will give you a lower limit and an upper limit. So by the way, uh, for the data option, you do have to input the data, right? How where, where do you input the data? You go to stat and then you go to edit. You don't go to test. You go to stat and then you go to edit and then you can enter your data right there. All right. So I will see you all in the next video for the actual examples. Signing off for now.